Hey nesters, welcome back to Nesting Haven and welcome back to another thrift with me shopping trip at Goodwill. So let's go ahead and check out the store. Let's see if we can find any cool vintage to either add to my own home or put up for sale in my Etsy shop, okay? So let's go ahead and see what they had at Goodwill today. Really cute Muppets glass here from McDonald's. Oh, I love these little popcorn dishes. I assume it probably came with a larger bowl and there were probably was a fourth one at the time as well. Only two dollars a piece, but it looks like they probably had gone through the dishwasher. The black is very scratched up and faded, as you can see here. I, it's kind of unfortunate. If they were in good condition, I definitely was going to snag those. Wow, these are pretty different. I've never seen these before. Got a little star on this one. They are hand-painted ceramic. Pretty good overall shape. And then a moon. It's a little bit of a celestial set here. Those are kind of fun, right? $5 a piece. It's probably something I'll, I'll pick up to resell. They're not in bad shape. A little bit of black scuffing at the nose. I'm not sure if I can get that out, but those are great. Some mushrooms. People love their mushrooms. These ones are really realistic, right? <laughs> $2 a piece on those. You guys into the mushrooms as well. I like the more colorful ones. I love this. Little pitcher and basin. Look at the florals on it. Speaks to my 1970s loving heart, right? <laughs> Five dollars. It's so pretty. I love florals as well, so it's a great little size. It's not too large. I wonder if it's left in, like almost looks like left in numbers. Hmm. So this is an adorable little gift set with some recipe cards and a little cutting board. I love the little strawberries on it. Alice's Home and Cottage, $5. It's cute. Here is some 1980s gold down here. These beautiful burwood signs from 1988. Little goose farmers. Really fun. I love the geese on them. And the blue and pink is such a classic 1980s color combination. And those are fun. I like those. A little bit of wear. I'm wondering if I can get that out. The magic eraser or not. There's another set up here. Those ones were $2. These ones are taped together. And they want $5. So... I'm going to go ahead and probably pick up the other set uh, because it's a little cheaper. It's funny. They had two sets there. I wonder if they had them both in their bathroom, like, you know, on either side of a mirror or something. You know, the pink and blue bathrooms are pretty popular back then. Oh, I love this. This is a great little piece of art. And they are asking $5 on it. It's probably something that came from home interiors. It seems like there's a lot of stuff like that. Some silhouettes by Guy Jones in the year 1980. Those are $5. But, ooh, what's this? The cheese spread, or blue cheese spread. Nice little recipe. I love this, it's $13. California pottery. Oh, that's really fun. I don't know how often you would make a blue cheese spread. Do you guys see what I see? A blue boat goose sighting. <laughs> it's not too often you find a complete set of the canisters. That's pretty fun. I'm just kind of checking them over. They are all taped down, so I will thoroughly look at them before I check out with them. But as of right now, I'm very excited. But I did just see a crack on one of them, and so I'm a little nervous. 
this is the one, you see, it's so unfortunate. I did walk away with one. It's like they knew I was coming. They put this right on top for me. Isn't it gorgeous? Only $2. This is some beautiful American contemporary ironstone in the pattern Fantasia. I love it so much. So you guys know where that's going, right? Right on my wall. So I'm reaching in the back here. I found this really cool St. Patrick Irish Heritage plate, an Irish blessing. Unfortunately, you see this. If you zoom in on sunshine, the word is all like half missing. Such a bummer. Five dollars. I wanted that so badly, but I couldn't pick it up where that word was uh, half missing. I love this Florida State Souvenir. It's a little bit larger than the ones I typically will find like this that are toothpick holders. Unfortunately, there was some chipping at the bottom, so I could not grab it. Even though I do niche and a lot of this State Souvenir stuff, and I sell a lot in my Etsy shop, but I had to pass. I was unfortunate. Look what I found. You guys might recognize the pattern from a few videos back where I found a lot of this. This is the Heartland pattern that is a very sought after in the cottage core, cottage kind of decor community. So this is pretty gorgeous. This floral, is it a daisy? A little planter. It looks like you can put a picture in the front of it. It is modern, but I thought that was pretty cute. What do you guys think? Sorry, I was going a little fast here. I just wasn't seeing anything. I just quickly scanned, but I did find this really beautiful tin on the top shelf. Isn't that stunning? The oranges, someone has a really nice still life with oranges and florals that they put on this. There's even butterflies. Two dollars. How gorgeous. I spy some amber sconces over here. One is missing the little rubber seal that would help it hold into the insert a little bit better, but really beautiful. They're a pretty large size made in Mexico. I see an art glass apple up here. This reminds me of that really amazing yard sale I went to this last summer. Do you guys remember that video? If you missed it, be sure to check it out. I'll try to link it down below or at the end of the video where you can go ahead and just click on it to watch. But yeah, I did really good on those. I was grabbing this and then I realized the end of the stem actually had a chip. So I didn't get it for that reason. But yeah, I do pick those up when I see them because they do sell good. So what we're looking at here, I believe, is marigold carnival glass. It's so pretty. I love the looks of carnival glass. Very stunning. The light hits it so nicely. $5 they're asking for. it. The shape was very unusual, and I was having a hard time trying to figure out what the use would be for it. More orange. <laughs> this is flash glass. It had a cool look to it, but you can see the paint was coming off. And I really like the geometric look to it, though. Old amber chip bowl would have had a smaller bowl that came with it originally, and a little stand to hold it off to the side. It was ten dollars, so I decided to leave it behind. This little wooden set of Christmas ornaments was also $10. I do like those ornaments, though. This is a Chemex. It's a fake Chemex, but it probably does the same trick. So let's do a survey down in the comments. Who had this Tupperware pitcher in their home? Either growing up or maybe when you were raising kids. And what color one did you have? Right, on to the haul of everything I picked up today. So I did pick up the 1988 set of the Burwood Little Goose Farmers, super cute, right? I have already gone ahead and cleaned them up. They did have a lot of black like wear spots on it. You know how it gets through the years and yeah, cleaned up well. So it's looking good, got them all, all shiny and spiffy again, ready for someone's home so i will be listing those up in my etsy store really love them i really hope someone can enjoy these again not my colors if these were maybe like an orange and yellow i probably not probably i definitely would have kept them but i don't really have pink and blue in my home but i'm hoping someone that does can really enjoy these I did snag the little set of mushrooms there. They were asking two a piece for them. And I did get these to resell. They are 
probably from late 90s, early 2000s, but super cute, right? Anyone that's into the mushrooms, the kind of uh, cottage core, that kind of scene, boho maybe, I thought would really enjoy those. So I figured I'd better pick them up. The price was pretty good and I can probably pass on a pretty decent deal on the three as well. So we'll go ahead and list those. I did pick up both of the Heartland trivets. I'm going to keep one and then this one I'm going to go ahead and resell. It's in good shape overall. The wood's really nice. I don't really see any major issues to it. I do want to note that the hanger at the back here there is some coming away of the wood. Now when I hold this up you know you put the weight on it it's holding just fine but if someone was interested in purchasing it, I would probably recommend trying to put something else there to secure it down a little bit better. The padding's a little bit worn, but not too serious. And um, yeah, just a really cute pattern. It's probably one of the most wholesome cottage patterns out there, this Heartland design. So really adorable farm scene, very country cottage. So that'll be up in my Etsy. And I picked up the Celestial Face Ladies here with the Star and Moon. They were just kind of fun. I'd never seen them before. And they do have this like floss hanger at the back. I'm sure it'll hold fine if you wanted to uh, put something a little stronger on it. You definitely could. There's two holes on either side. They were $5 a piece there. And I think I can make a pretty decent profit on these. That's why I grabbed them. I thought, you know, they're pretty unique. I try to find other ones out there. Did not see anything like it. So that's always a good sign. You can uh, expect it to be a little bit more on the rare side. So not too many people are going to have them. They are hand-painted ceramic. And I did go ahead and clean them up. They did have some scuffing at the nose and they cleaned up pretty well. It's not really there anymore. You see the noses are pretty good now. And some of the yellow there. It's all good, right? So if this is kind of your thing, I think this is a really, really excellent set. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and list those up in my Etsy. I just thought they were really fun. Different, right? On to some of the stuff that I picked up for myself. I grabbed this iron stone plate for my plate wall. The beautiful brown and orange, really cool. Only two bucks on that. Fantasia. So, definitely needs double hangers though. The iron stone is so heavy. This tin was so moody and beautiful, like moody in a good way, you know what I mean? So there's some raspberries and oranges, florals. There's the butterfly some like dried flowers as well, almost looks like. So nice, it kind of reminds me of Shay Elliott. I don't know if you, any of you guys watch her on YouTube, but it kind of looks like her style, honestly. And I just thought it was so cute. So I'm gonna keep this, it was $2. And I just can't get over how beautiful it is. Very dramatic. <laughs> I did pick up the two amber hurricane sconces here. Now, in my research, it looks like these were put out by Home Co. and called like Classique, I think was the name. Only $2 a piece. They have a really cool little ruffle at the edge, and I like that they were taller. I do have some that are on the smaller side in red that I decorated for. Uh, last month, but I wanted to switch to more of the amber and I was looking for amber ones in those You know the traditional ones that are smaller. They're kind of nubbed I don't I don't know how to describe it. I'm sure you know the ones I'm talking about they're kind of common and so I was very happy to find this now I have these Vintage Burwood. I'll show you what I'm gonna do with them. I have these vintage Burwood uh, Wall sconces here. I've set two of them and that's what I'm going to put them on. So I've already set the one in here that had the rubber ring. I have some of the other ones that I'm going to try to switch a rubber ring onto there. So this is what it's going to look like. That's what I'm using it for. These sconces, I'm actually going to put it up on either side of that picture there. So 
I will show you in a future video once I get it done. I gotta find that rubber gasket on the other one, but hopefully you guys can get the vision of it a little bit there and see where I'm putting it. And I was so excited to find that set of four canisters with a blue bow goose on it. So I was able to save just one. All of them unfortunately had some pretty gnarly cracks in them. This one's not even perfect by any means. There is like a small spot here, like a hairline crack there, but it's on the smaller side. I wanted to take at least one. So they were $5 each. $20 for the set with three of them pretty cracked. I figured I didn't really want to pay 20 for that kind of damage, but I did want one and I'll be on the lookout for this set. I have another set of Blue Boat Goose canisters that are, has a different design than this, but this is really fun as well. So I'll keep my eye out for that set or the set in particular, but yeah, $5 on this guy and yeah, happy to find them. So we got to save another Blue Boat Goose today. Okay, so this piece here, I'm glad I purchased it. I'll start with that. <laughs> it's so stunning, right? I love the dimensional florals on it. The colors are perfect. I did originally plan to resell it, though I definitely like it and it would go well with my decor. So if I ever end up with it in the long run, I'm totally fine with that. Now, I mentioned I thought it was Lennox because I saw the way this number was here. And typically, Lennox pieces will have this kind of like green numbering. I did end up finding one listed that had the original Lennox sticker on it, so I was correct. It is Lennox. Beautiful floral on this bowl here. Has a little of a yellow stain there that might come out. I did try to wash it briefly, but I was focusing more on the picture because the picture here is a hot mess inside okay this is what it looks like and i've already thoroughly cleaned it did a magic eraser on it the whole nine yards okay and it's still looking like this so i'm not going to list this right now i'm going to keep working at it see if i can get it any cleaner if there is anybody interested in it as is you could definitely leave me a comment but um yeah, I don't feel comfortable listing something like this on Etsy, so I'm going to try to get it a little cleaner. If it ends up being just, you know, remaining this way, I'm probably just going to keep it. They obviously had put some water in it quite high and left it sitting for a long time, so it's got some serious stains inside. If you guys have any good tips on how I might be able to get this more clean, I definitely would appreciate it, but I'm not having much luck at the moment. But I'm still happy I got it. It's still a really beautiful piece, and it was really fun. I didn't know Lennox made anything like this, so very beautiful. Well, that is everything I purchased at Goodwill today. Let me know in the comments what item was your favorite that I picked up. I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, you can head over to Etsy if you're interested in anything I showed you today. And we will catch you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.